Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Step inside my movie, Maniacs. We take a look at The Answer, brought to us by uh, Iqbal uh, Ahmed, and if I mispronounce that, I do apologize greatly, who wrote and directed the story, The Answer, uh, which is a story of Brid Cole, who's kind of this uh, secluded introvert, type of teen who suddenly is thrust into this unusual and wild adventure to discovering who he is by following clues left behind by his deceased parents, all the while trying to avoid being attacked and killed by mysterious uh, individuals with really sophisticated futuristic blades. And we see how of this unfolds and Brid discovering who he really is in this indie sci-fi thriller. Ah! Uh, I enjoyed the story in this film. It, it had a little bit of a different feel to it, different approach to your standard, uh, you know, who am I really type of story. And so I liked that. I liked the approach and the idea that they came up with in this film. And the Brid Cole character, played by Master Herbert, uh, I, I think did really well. Uh, Austin did fantastic in this role. And he had a good chemistry with Alexis Cara, who plays the Charlotte Parker character. Really interesting character and a dynamic that they put between them. Kind of wish they hadn't gone the direction they did with their relationship, but it was only natural. But it did feel a little bit cliche and, and kind of wish they would have took a bit of a different approach with them. Uh, but overall, I, I enjoyed the chemistry between these two. Now the story, that, uh, the, the design, now the design that they had for these warriors that are pursuing Brid Cole, I really like these guys. Uh, they kept it basic, but also kind of scary and their weapons that they had were really cool. Uh, kind of reminded me a little bit the way they were handled, like uh, uh, the uh, weapons from I Come In Peace. Not They're not flying CDs, okay? But they are some pretty wicked double-bladed weapons, and uh, they were handled kind of like that. And I, I liked that. I liked the design and the production design of these guys. I also enjoyed the clues that, that were left behind by the Brid Cole's uh, parents. I, I enjoyed that uh, as well, and seeing them try to figure that out. But there is some pacing issues in this film. It, at times it's really fast and great action and then it slows down and I understand they need some character development but I really wanted this film to just keep going and going and keep them you know really on the run. Uh, but at times you almost felt like that, that threat has gone away for these two individuals and I kind of wanted to keep that there constantly you know for a film like this. So uh, overall it's a decent sci-fi indie film film, I think, if you're looking for something a little bit uh, different and you're flipping through, you know, your, your VOD or whatnot, I think uh, it's worth your time if you like uh, or are looking for indie sci-fi film. This one definitely would fall into that category. And uh, again, the story, I think, is worth a watch. So, Check it out if you uh, have seen the answer. Leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on this. As always, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.